Now, in this part I'm just going to explore a lot. I'm going to look all around the school and talk to people and just do a lot of exploring and whatnot before I actually leave and go where I'm supposed to. Just see what we can see. And there's a lot to see. <laughs> Let's see what's in here. It's locked. Doesn't seem as though you can enter. Probably gonna get a lot of that, because there's a lot of rooms. Here's one I can go into. Looks like Sebek's reputation is at an all-time low. Who is Sebek? It's a company. Like, no way am I gonna walk by the Sebek building at night! Oh my gosh, that company's been cursed ever since they tore down the Haunted Mansion! Oh... Really now? That's interesting. I'm hungry. I'm gonna get a snack. It'd be easy if I used the secret shortcut. You should give it a try too. A secret shortcut? Oh, he must mean the hole in the wall. Stuff and nonsense. Curses are nothing more than superstition. It seems to be locked. Dark green rooms we haven't explored yet. Kinda nice that they have that to help you keep track of it. Nurse Natsumi is not as uh, Nurse Natsumi is hot as hell. I love that mature air she has. Oh really? Then why don't you have her pack your lunches from now on? Uh, t please, not that. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have said anything. Seriously, guys, the sun's going down. Are we going to the hospital or not? Guys our age tend to go for older women. Not me. I'm not interested in this sort of foolishness. That reminds me, I heard Nurse Natsumi just had a breakup. I wonder why. Even if she's a bad cook, you could, you could just live off convenience store food. Or cook yourself. Blasphemy, I guess? What's in here? I did not mean to leave. What are we doing at the library? Let's hurry and see. I mean, get checked out. a shabby collection. The library at home is much better stocked. Oh, it's you, Black Mage. <laughs> I'm investigating the seven mysteries of St. Hermelin High. Want to know what I've learned? <laughs> Maybe some other time. Sutomu Kuroi... Uh... Kuroi... 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 Good. I'm just gonna stop. Nicknamed Devil Boy. He's an expert at the occult, but frequently has incorrect information. Those two over there are making fun of Devil Boy, but I prefer Devil Boy to them. At least he doesn't act all high and mighty. You see that guy over there? The one they call Devil Boy? He tripped and fell again today during P.E. It was freaking hilarious. He can't even do a single push-up. What a lamer. Something tells me you're not going to be laughing later. But that's just speculation. The way I see it, there must be demons who get along well and those that don't. If demons who hated each other may have met up, I'm sure it would be disastrous. They call him Devil Boy, but the stuff he'll tell you is a lot of crap. I know much more about the occult, though I could never tell the uninitiated. Fine then, I'll just leave. Nothing here. Sorting old records is no task for a student council president. Kandori would have refused to do it as a point of pride. So I refuse too. It's all part of my quest to be more like him. Student council president, leader of St. Hermelin's student council, isn't wild about his job. He's trying to emulate Kandori, the 18th student council president. Huh? You haven't heard of that big shot at Sebek? He graduated from here. 
He's still young, but he's branch president of a big company now. I really hate this guy. Ugh, can't we go see my- I mean, go to the hospital? If he can't handle the meager power of the student council, he's no man at all. I bet we'd be better off with anyone but him as president. Our president does nothing but sit around and bark orders. Who voted for this guy? If I was president, I would make a guy like him work till he keeled over. Those are his true colors, but he's no dummy. He's got the faculty on his side. I hear he's never even been reprimanded. Talk about unfair. This room doesn't seem to have been used in quite some time. Something tells me that's an important room. Oh, hey, a statue. We could really use more members. Maki's sick, and... Shisato's gone missing. Do you know those two? No, I don't. Ah, I see. Well, the art club's going through a rough spot right now. I don't know. Maybe this club's cursed. The painting I saw of Maki's had a strong, raw sense of emotion to it. I've seen one of Maki's paintings. She won an award for her Gate to Paradise. Yeah, Maki's an awesome artist. Come on, Gallif, let's go to the hospital! Is it obvious yet? Why he wants to go to the hospital so badly? locked. This is not locked. What's in here? You quite enjoy idling the time away with frivolity, don't you? At this rate, the sun will have set before our examinations are through. Mm, sorry, but I kind of like exploring and talking to people. Huh. There's other trees like that one in the infirmary. I saw a beautiful tree in the forest east of the station. It looked exactly like the one Nurse Natsumi put in the infirmary. I feel at peace when I look at that tree. It's the strangest thing. Magical save point tree. The police station's straight north from here, right? That it is. I have played very, very little of this game when I was testing streaming. I don't want to go to cram school. I just want to stay home and sleep. You can't. You need to study. Let's go together, okay? Why don't we meet at the subway entrance? The subway? That's north through the Sun Mall and all the way right, yeah? Hey, we're not supposed to be in here. Let's just go to the hospital. We'll be preparing for our college exams soon. College entrance exams. Naturally, I plan to pass with top marks and enter the college of my choice. You thought about what to do after grad? College isn't in my plans. Oh, give me a break! If you have time to play that Persona game, you have time to study. Moron, you promised we'd go to the same college together! You're supposed to be able to see your future self when you play Persona. I wonder if I should try it. Will I be in college this time next year? I'm going to see my future self, that's awesome. Alright, that's all on this floor. No, no, didn't mean to do that. Ran one step too far. Down the stairs we go. And begin exploring this floor. There is a lot to see. <laughs> Uh, isn't it time you gave up on Yosuke? He obviously ran off with his girlfriend. Come on, it's been two months already. That's a lie! That Chisato bitch tricked him! Everyone knows that girl's bad news! Ah oh yes, this game has strong language occasionally. I was surprised too when Chisato started dating Yosuke. It was so sudden. Chisato never acted like she cared about him before. Actually, I always thought ma- Hey, shouldn't we get going? Whoops. 
It's true that not even I think Chisato has an especially attractive personality. It seemed as if she was dating Yosuke to show off as much as anything. Yosuke's handsome and a nice guy. I hate to admit it, but he's hard to beat. Wasn't Yosuke best friends with Maki? If you're visiting her, ask her about it. Yosuke was popular with the girls, but no one's seen him in two months. Wonder what happened. I had a weird dream. There was this girl, and she was saying, Help me! Was it a vision? Is there really a girl waiting for me to rescue her? Wow. That's awesome. Kenta Yokuchi, nicknamed Toro. His love of food has made him physically strong, but emotionally fragile. I believe I've asked this before, but shouldn't we be going to the hospital? Toro's got balls, man. I mean, asking out Ayase? Dude, I wouldn't go after her in a million years. I hate guys who see someone who's serious about something and just make fun of it. Dude, guess what I saw? Toro asked out Ayase and got rejected on the spot. I hear he's still following her around, though. Go this way. Yep, that's where I came from. This way. Yuka seems like an airhead, but I think sometimes she's working on she's working at it. Hey, where's Ayase? Wasn't she with you? She promised to go out, but she totally ditched. I'm thinking I might like just go ahead on my own. It's really weird, though. She seems totally into it. Ayase gets like this sometimes. She acts all, like, cynical and stuff. I don't understand that girl. Are you guys going to the hospital on the northeast corner of town? It's a pretty long walk. Good luck with that. Yeah, thanks. Hey, Gallif, we're still going to the hospital, right? We do kind of have to. Does this woman never stop running her mouth? She did have more dialogue boxes than any of the other NPCs so far. More locked doors. Oh, and a dead end. This way, then. Say, what about the hospital? Weren't we going there for a checkup? They're impatient. I can't blame them after I'm considering I'm dragging them all around the huge school. What's Masao's beef with that guy? I don't see what the fuss is about. Don't you think derelict buildings should be torn down? Places like that only attract hooligans. <laughs> hooligans? Seriously? What a poindexter. Won't you pipe down? As I was saying... Wouldn't it attract hooligans? I'd certainly hate to see that happen. Hey, Gallif, you gotta hear the stupid junk this guy is spouting. Remember, there's a girl at the hospital who wants to talk to you, too. A blue room. You know, I feel like I had a dream like that, too. I had a weird dream. It's really been bothering me. Do you want to hear about it? Yes, I do. It takes place in a blue room. I can hear a piano and singing, and there's an old, odd old man sitting down. What do you think that means? Dreams have no meaning. They're dreams, nothing more. Another locked room. What about this one? Um, Gallif, you're going to the hospital, right? Yuko Himino. Maki's friend. She works part-time to support her family. Um, 
I hate to ask, but could you tell Maki I'll give back that book next time I go visit her? Sure. Uh, um, thanks. I'm sorry to ask you to go out of your way like that. It was a really good book, so I wanted to read it again before I return it. That's good. That good, huh? What's it called? Uh, um, Gate to Paradise. Whoa, that's deep. I didn't know Maki was into that kind of thing. If you enjoyed that that much, why not simply buy your own copy? W well, it's kind of expensive, and my brothers and sisters need new clothes. Nanjo, you moron! Don't you know she works part-time to help her family out? Alright, well, we gotta get going, but we'll be sure to pass on your message. Does anything else happen in that room? Oh, no, apparently not. Uh, um, did you tell Maki? Uh, sorry, not yet, but we're going soon, promise. Hey, Galif, let's get to the hospital already. So if I hadn't gone around exploring like that, I'd have missed out on something. Alright, to the flo first floor. We're getting close to being done with exploring. We don't have time to deal with this nonsense. Let's get to the hospital. That girl supposedly got a thing for Reiji. Not that I'm jealous or anything. Reiji. I think. I don't know. Um, there's a guy named Reiji in your class, right? Right. No matter how much I hang around your homeroom at break or after school, I never see him. How am I supposed to strike up a conversation? That romantic air of mystery he has. Whew. But yeah. Reiji Kido, eh? He keeps to himself. I feel as though he does so deliberately. Yeah, they tore that place down and put up the Sebek building last year. The Haunted Mansion? Man, that takes me back. I used to go play there a lot, and that old bat, I, I mean my mom, got mad at me. Did you ever hear any of those weird rumors about the Sebek building? Some people have been moaning and seen red eye have heard moaning and seen red eyes peering through windows. It's supposed to be cursed since they leveled the haunted mansion to build it. Yeah, that's not wise. Stories about Sebek tend to be unpleasant. That aside, we should head to the hospital. Soon, soon. This Sebek curse is a load of crap. I bet they're making biological weapons. I didn't know you were this interested in rumors and gossip. Here's a hot tip. We need to get to the hospital. <laughs> I can't discount it. Kandori is a man who wouldn't hesitate to do such things. Why is everyone so pissed at Sebek? It's just a regular company. Or is it? A guy who keeps going into the open classroom on the second floor. You know anyone like that? Well, I'm kinda going everywhere. It seems you're being mistaken for someone else, Galif. Eriko and Yuka didn't faint, so they don't need to go to the hospital. Why were we the only ones? Thinking about it, the ones who didn't faint had played Persona before. Meaning Yuka, Eriko, and Hidehiko. Oh, it's you, Galif. Hey, I hear someone keeps coming in and out of the open room on the second floor. Are you the one doing it? I told Miss Sayako about what happened. Brown seems to have already gone home, and I don't think Ayase could explain it coherently, do you? Hidehiko took off, so me and Eriko explained everything to the teach. Man, Hidehiko sure works fast at times like these.
This is a big room. Ah. I have part-time work today. Let's hurry to the hospital and get this over with. Okay, now I feel slightly bad. Miss Uishi is so kind. She loves flowers so much, she cares for them as if they were her children. Our principal is a cool lady, but she can be a little too lovey-dovey. This megalith shard. It's a very precious cultural artifact. Who built it? For what purpose? It never ceases to fascinate me. Well, hello, Gallif. Are you all taking a walk, too? It's been part of my daily routine ever since I was a girl. Praying to the guardian deity that everyone grows up into fine adults. Principal Luishi, the principal of St. Hermelin High. She adores children and flowers. Hirimon Stone. This megalith was excavated when the school was first built in 1963. It's made of thamatite and possesses an abnormal magnetism. Legend has it that a heavenly being known as Hirimon dropped it from the sky to be Mikagecho's guardian stone. Wow, these flowers are beautiful. So it's true about the principle, huh? Oh! Hi. Well then, I just tried refreshing my browser just in case, and yeah, my chat has been frozen all this time. Wonderful. <sighs> so yeah, hi guys. <laughs> Wow, these flowers are beautiful, so it's true about the principle, huh? Snooping around is all well and good, but let's not forget the hospital. Snooping round town will get you nowhere. Looks like the principal isn't here. She's probably at the courtyard again. Galif, you really should be on your way to Mikage Hospital. Oh, this is the room I came from, originally. Do they say anything different now, though? Let me see. No, it's the same dialogue. Okay. Codebreaker. Yes, I used to play that with Yamaoka when I was small. That dude got yelled at the other day for betting on rich man, poor man in class. Let's ditch this gambling freak and go to the hospital before I lose it, okay? Gambling is a man's hobby, and bunny girls are a must for every casino. Slots, blackjack, codebreaker... I can't wait till I'm old enough to go. Whatever, dude. The door is locked. Could that girl have been an illusion? That's the hole in the wall. But I can't go in there. You there! I told you not to use this place! Vice Principal Hanea, known as Hamea among the students who despise his extreme strictness. Who told you kids that you could go through here? If you want to get outside, the school gates are there for a reason. Our school is swarming with degenerates like you. Luishi is far too lenient. Now get out of here, I'm going to call a specialist and have this blocked off. What's the matter? Are the school gates closed? If we don't hurry, visiting hours at the hospital might end. Ugh, it's Hamia. I hate that guy. Cheese it, Gallif! Isn't there one decent teacher here besides Miss Sayako and the principal? I don't have many ties with the gym, of course. I suppose I can let it slide. Can we hurry and get to the hospital yet? 
This place would be great for practicing dance moves if it had a big mirror. I heard a second year named Yosuke went missing along with his girlfriend. It's Sebex doing, if you ask me. Huh? Proof? It's just male intuition. The sound system's all good to go in the new gym. The concert's gonna be bitchin'. I'm gonna skip sports day and hole up in the studio to practice. Hey, we haven't decided which play we're doing for the culture festival, have we? I heard there was a traditional play we used to perform. Why not do that? I think it was called The Snow. Absolutely not! That one's off limits. I'll decide soon. Give me some time. The president seemed a little touchy. Why did she get so upset? Hmm? Are you interested in joining the club? If not, please leave. You're in our eye lines. St. Hermelin won the drama conquerors nine years ago, too. But the trophy from that year is missing. I wonder what happened to it. Snow? Was he going to suggest the Snow Queen? Who needs a play? Just let me bust a move up on stage! This school has a traditional play. News to me. Boxing is so cool! It looks like it would hurt, though. You want to join the boxing club? Well, let's get examined before that. I could lose some weight myself. What? I'm trying to lose weight. Even the boxing gloves are starting to look like candy. Oh. Archery is an intelligent, mature sport. Don't have a bow? We'll lend you one. Bows and arrows aren't my thing. I prefer razor blades. You're scary, lady. I agree, archery is interesting. But don't forget to go to the hospital. I heard there's a bunch of bows here. I think I'll borrow one and mess around with it next time. Tadashi, you idiot! Why do you keep messing up the club room? Tamaki, a transfer student who joined the fencing club. She's always arguing with, Tad with Tadashi. La la la, I'm not listening! We can do whatever we want! Sheesh, Tamaki, who pissed in your cornflakes this morning? Tadashi, a lazy member of the fencing club who quarrels with Tamaki every day. What did you say? I'm gonna rip this trash off the walls right now! Hey, what are you doing to my goddess? Goddess, my ass, you pervert! You're the perviest pervert ever to perv! Ah, you hag! You're a haggity hag who hags all hagging day! Goodness. What a half-assed job. If you're gonna bomb a wall, you gotta do it with more style. Leave him alone. You know how some people are. They fight because they care. Honestly, the idiots populating our sports club. It's all a bit much. Tamaki's a transfer student, but she's good enough to place in tournaments. But she never wants to talk about her last school. Did something happen? <sighs> Those two are like this every day. I'm surprised they're not tired of it. <sighs> what is it? I'm a little busy here. Yeah, I'm kind of busy here. I get fidgety around this stuff. Come on, let's go to the hospital. Yamaoka used to take me to the ballet when I was small. I suppose he was trying to cultivate my aesthetic sensibilities. Ballet, huh? The Nutcracker is kind of neat, I always thought. A fun dream world the girls saw on Christmas Eve. <sighs> hey, what's that look for? I happen to like ballet. Something wrong with that? It was nice when they rebuilt the gym and we finally got our own room. Back when we had to change in the classrooms, someone could have seen us. Wait, were you one of the pervs doing that? No. 
Did you know toe shoes are actually really hard? I was pretty surprised the first time I put on a pair. It seems to be locked. And back we go. Oh, I came from that way, so... this way. Alright, I think that's it. This is locked, yes? Yes, okay. So, I'm gonna stop this recording, stream will stop for just a moment, and then I'll be back.